So I would categorize my weeks into three types, shooting, editing, and lull. And I wanna to talk today about what that means for me and my business. So the three types of week that I typically get in within my business are shooting, editing, and lull. So shoot weeks are usually pretty manic for me and they're pretty stressful. I'll typically have more than two shoots in a week and it means additional travel, longer work hours, and believe it or not, what it actually means is that I'm actually running my business and then shooting on top of it. So it gets pretty manic during that time. Editing weeks are a little bit more relaxed. As the name suggests, I'm spending most of my time working on an edit and I will focus my actual business on that edit until I get bored, I've run out of creativity, I need to do something else, and then I'll switch and do other tasks like quoting or invoicing or something along those lines. And then there's weeks like this one, a lull week, where basically we're not shooting, editing's pretty relaxed, it's pretty minimal, and basically the client workload that we've got is relatively low. And lull weeks are both good and bad. And that's usually because you've made lots of progress in the last two stages during shooting and editing. And so you feel like you've been pretty stressed, you need a bit of downtime, and that's important, but you're getting invoices out and you're closing projects and that makes you feel great. But it can also mean that you're relaxed too much, that you're not getting anything done, and therefore it's unproductive time. So for me, it's really important that I use the lull week to its best advantages. For me, that means chasing up invoices, chasing up new work, looking at old inquiries and chasing those up, and really getting your own business work done. And for me, own business work means improvement. Um, without it, I think our business suffers, it stalls. So this is where all those small ideas come through and the big ideas really start to gain traction. So let's take this lull week as an example. It's Tuesday and I've already managed to punch out two videos that will basically advertise two new video packages that we'll be pushing out. I shot these videos about a month ago and they've been sitting there waiting on my hard drive and quite frankly frustrating me, but now I've got them done, they're edited, this whole package is ready to be launched and it's not just them, it's not just these videos. I've also updated the website and all of the paperwork so that basically it is a complete product that people can look at and understand. This to me has already been a productive lull week because ultimately I think there are two outcomes from a lull week. Number one, you rest, you relax, you feel refreshed, but ultimately more work comes in and you've lost that opportunity. Or number two, the lull week continues and then as a freelancer, this bad feeling starts to creep in that bills need to get paid, your rent needs to get paid and you're not generating any income and you're not really doing anything and creativity starts to stall. So I guess my solution to these sort of lull periods is really to keep myself busy, to see this free time as productive time, to develop the business. I guess I also enjoy this cycle that we run through as a business because the variety is actually what keeps me interested in my job. Just as I'm running out of steam in this particular period, then I'll move to the next one. And so the cycle continues. Anyway, that's probably enough rambling from me. As ever, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content I'm putting out about my business and you find it of interest, subscribe to the channel. And as ever, thanks for watching. Can we also start to talk about gear on this channel? Because whilst the Canon 5D Mark IV might have really been a disappointment to me, I think that the GoPro drone is certainly looking interesting and I am really interested in the new Panasonic GH5.